Hello crafters, welcome to my channel. This is Martha. I am now working on the title page, finally the title page of the Heritage Collection of the Anna Griffin scrapbook event that was May 1st. Here we are, June something, and, and I'm finally getting this page done. So I wanted to show you real quick what I put together. I love adding more real estate to the uh, actual 12 by 12 page layout so that we can get more pictures in here. And so uh, what I did this time was that uh, I have not glued everything down. I kind of wanted to show you the process so that you can kind of uh, follow along or take some ideas and use them whichever way you want to use them. So uh, first of all, let me take all this off. Here's my little uh, page. I like more than just plain white. I kind of like the little flower part. So I thought if I added a date or something, that would be really cute there. Um, and then on her scrapbook uh, page that she was showing us, she had some uh, of these little leaves on the side. I don't know if I'm gonna use these little leaves because gosh, I wanna see more and more of this little area here. So that's what I was looking at. And then all of this little loveliness is the stuff that I was using and I will show you. And then I ran this, this is a little journaling tag. I also ran this one and I ran this one. And so uh, these are all little uh, tags that you can use as a great big huge date or a title or adding journals or adding a little love note to someone uh, in your actual page. And then here is the layout. And this is the part I wanna show you guys. Here I think she had a uh, five by seven and then she brought it down to the a smaller picture and I used the business size dies that everybody is using right now to create this and then add a gatefold to the page. Okay, so we have the two here and then they open up so. And then I added this little embossing area right here, kind of a little of a green color here that I thought would be pretty to bounce these flowers around. And then instead of a flip and flop and twist on this page, which I was kind of thinking I still wanted to do a twist on this and be able to mechanize it, to move it this way. But there is so much gorgeous lace paper here that I think it's gonna snag everything. So I'm thinking I'm going to put it down permanently so that you can't do the mechanics, you can't twist it because I think it would just be a mess to try to twist it. So here's the page that it would be where you're gonna get more real estate at and I'll show you this one in a minute. Let me show you the actual page. So you end up using this color right here in the 12 by 12 and then you run this little die right here and you're doing it in pink and blue and in gold and you're gonna do that twice so each side is the same <coughs> excuse me and then you're going to keep the negative of that which I kind of put this on the side here so you can see when you run this you end up with this little negative right here of this little chompy little teeth kind of thing and then you end up with a little avatar on this side that kind of looks like little uh, monsters and that is how we create this side, okay? So this is uh, the little golden little uh, piece is the piece that goes to um, this little piece right here. And then the little piece that goes in the middle is the one that goes to the little um, fence one that we use. When you cut this one, I'm reaching over here, and you cut this little piece here, this is the outline. So you end up like this. You have to run this piece here to get the little avatar that's the little golden pink one and then you need this little outside one to get the little blue one, okay? So you're running that part. And I did an extra strip here of solid blue because guess what? I put this in a spot that I didn't like. So I lifted it up and I tore the paper. So I covered it up with this dark solid blue and then I end up here. So you have blue, pink, gold, blue, pink, and gold. And then you have this gorgeous flourish uh, paper that goes underneath like a three inch strip that holds this little area together. And then you have the same thing going back up, gold, blue, and pink. On both sides, the same. 
And then in the middle, she does a five by seven and she puts one picture. And then these gorgeous little palm tree looking leaves on each side and some flowers. She does flowers on each corner. And I wanted to add more areas for pictures. So I made this little kind of booklet right here. We're gonna put it right here on the bottom. I think that this gorgeous little design goes perfect with all these little uh, French little lacy things here. So we open it up. You have the green here, and then here is the mechanism that I wanted to show you so that you can replicate it, copy it, make it your own. So this little page opens up like so. And then there's, I like to use double-sided paper for this. So you don't have to use more and more paper. It makes your page super heavy. Uh, so I did that. And then we open it up this way. And then these are magnets. These are the little magnets that I get from a company called K, uh, M and, M and J, K and J. Let me find my little card right here. And uh, I love these little magnets. They're super strong and they're super flat. And then we have another page going this way and a little page going this way. So as you can see, what I did here is I am hiding the mechanism of the actual little flipping over of the pages. So what you have to do is kind of do a little planning. You wanna find the size of paper that you want. And I made a little template and I said, okay, I want this, I want approximately this size. So, I made a little template. I add a quarter of an inch to the end and I fold it down and I kind of decided how big of a paper page I want it for this background. And here is the page. And then you do the other side, just a slither smaller. And then for the inside papers, I made those even smaller because there's less real estate there to make, but still plenty of room for a four by six or two small ones, plenty of room for pictures. And then of course this big area here. So this like kind of little thing here is kind of like a waterfall, but it's hidden. So let me show you, that's the part I have not glued in so that I can kind of show you how that works. It takes very little math, but you figure it out with your template, you're folding it down and you kind of draw with a pencil and you make your mark of where you want to cut and where you need to hide this little mechanism. It's not that bad if you don't hide it. it it'll fold up and it, you'll see this piece. So what, you put something in there if you wanted to, but if you're thinking ahead and you wanna hide it, then this is what you need to do. You need to add this little paper right in here, add a little pencil, make a mark, and then on the inside, I kind of waited another quarter inch and I made another little mark right in there. And I did the same thing over here with the pencil right there also. So now you have your paper and your slits. You want to make sure that it's cutting all the way through. Since I already have chipboard on this, you can kind of see how that worked. And then you're able to put your pages in. You add a tiny little, um, kind of snip that little corner so it's a little bit easier to get in between. There you go. And you're able to hide that little page fur that you don't want everybody to see inside. So it's, I, I think it's called like a hidden waterfall looking thing is what you end up with. Little, it, I'm making it in a gatefold uh, fashion, which is fine. It's something different for you to kind of play with and see how you like that but I kind of wanted to show you where I was at with that. I'm gonna glue it all in and decorate, and then I'll come back and show you where I'm at. Uh, have any questions, please. I love you guys make, uh, giving me questions and comments, and I really appreciate that. It helps me know where I need to move the channel to and what you're enjoying and what you're not enjoying, so please uh, let me know, uh, subscribe. Uh, comment, uh, like, and I'd love if you can share with a friend. That would be awesome and we can have more people uh, along. So let me know what you think. I'm going to put this together and glue it and then I'll come back and show you. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.